try, I'm going to try and do a bit of video in cycling with the heavier camera. I was up on that bridge a minute ago when I visited Sanford Cemetery. I bet as soon as I video, loads of people have suddenly come along. But at the moment, it's not too quiet, not too, um, not too busy. I've just come from down there. There's a little, le little tiny track that goes to the cemetery. Um, that's Winscombe back there then. Sanford ahead. And then Puxton. So a lot of strawberry line, but I'll try and do a bit. There is somebody cycling in the distance. So this is Sheila, the 20th of April, 2021. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Someone else coming now. You can't get a consistent. <clears throat> I have to turn the camera away when they get close. It's to do with confidentiality and all that sort of thing. So. Another bridge. Yes, I've put my scarf on now. It's just started to get a bit nippy. Um, I'm not going to put my coat on yet. But there's a breeze started up. Because I had thought, I did think, that perhaps I should have worn a slightly thicker jumper. But, um... You never really know how to... This time of year is a bit like when summer goes and autumn comes. There's that sort of unpredictability about the temperature. Because I don't want to get too hot, but I don't want to get cold. So what I'm going to do... There's some... I'll change. There's a nice little some seating area there for a nice picnic. I'm going to look over the hill fort. The wood of the hill fort there, Banwell Hill Fort. <sighs> a lot privately owned now. Um, the villagers of Banwell haven't got any right of way, I don't think, even though it's in their village. <laughs> this is what happens with uh, our society is still dominated by the powerful people who rule and own all the land, I'm afraid. And it uh, happens everywhere, doesn't it? Because if, if it's not private people owning it, it'll be the state. We might farm it out and rent it out. But anyway, we don't want to worry too much about that. I guess I can feel a breeze. I should, I've got quick access to my coat. I don't have to um, peel everything. I put an orange and if I put an orange and a yogurt bar in my pockets so I can have another snack without having to break into the rucksack all the time. The rucksack hasn't really got a lot in it. There's another bottle of water. I couldn't fill my bottle. That's the other thing. I'd have to get in to get my other bottle of water um, unless I can fill it up somewhere at Sanford because... Um, the tap there was a tap in the allotments but there were people there so otherwise but they turned the tap off in the cemetery probably because cyclists and people were using it you can't blame people can you I don't feel dehydrated or anything I've got a whole bottle of water left I mean water quantity and volume I mean will increase as the warmer weather comes. There's another nice little place to sit. I'll just go up there a minute. <coughs> yep, 
Yeah, because there, that's um, the Banwell Hill Fort, that's sort of the east side of it. But like I say, most of them, there's a road, well, it, they're laying pipes, but to me it looks like a Banwell bypass to me. It might be both. Because they're not taking a long time doing a hell of a lot of digging to lay some pipes. Up there be Sanford, Old Sanford Station. I don't know if it's open. But there again, I can't get to my money either because that's deep inside the rucksack. I didn't think about buying any water, but I don't. I think I'm going to be all right. Um, this is probably about halfway now. We've done. We've come from right over there, right round, and all we've got to do is go back round now. So I'd say we're halfway. A nice gentle plod. Um, quiet. People, some people have gone back to work now. The kids are back at school. Um, so basically, so I'm just having to balance the bike as I go down here. Basically, it's a lot quieter than it was on lockdown, believe it or not. When lockdown happens, everyone comes out walking. You see more people in lockdown. But here's a little plaque. There's a little plaque. A little station master. A little map showing the strawberry lime route from Yatton at the top, Congressbury, Sanford, Winscombe, Axbridge, and then into Cheddar. Welcome to the strawberry line. And of course, down there, lovely view this, I'm going to take a picture in a minute. All the way down there is where this, the puffer train would have huffed and puffed its way to Winscombe that way and Sanford. We're in Sanford now, I shall be going up a bit further past and I've got to cross the A38 in a minute to get en route for Puxton. Um, it's a really nice day and it's a really nice um, it's a really nice cycle. So I just, I just carry on. I just turn off a minute. To... Right, I forgot to put it on record. I'm always doing it, you know. So that last section just coming, not very much. There was a little bit of strawberry line coming along there. And I was talking about the lovely oak tree that I'd taken lots of pictures and images of last year and this is um, Thatcher Cider Factory and Farm that's where I got to but I hadn't recorded it look at all those big beer barrels, cider barrels and then over there I don't know if this is a real tree but they've got a tree there's some sort of hut or something on the top of it and I, th I don't know if that's a real tree or whether that's an artificial one going up the top there. I think white on the top. It might be a real tree, it might be a pretend tree, I don't know. I don't know if it's real or not. That there. Somebody just gone by. So over there you've got um, Sanford and Sanford Quarry. And of course not three or four days ago I arrived over here at Sanford and I walked through that wood right over to Roborough Warren. That was only a couple of days ago on the 19th, no not the 19th, the 16th, god it only seems like that's already, if that was on the 16th, that's already um, four days ago, 
Yeah, so I was over. It seems longer at the same time. It seems like it was yesterday, but yeah, I got off the bus. I got a bus ride, and I went there, and I had a oh, a big hike from there all the way to Cheddar. So I'm always busy. Right, we just carry on down here a minute. So I'll be turning off heading for Hewish and Puxton Church area. God, what's Tesco's doing here? And um, filling up with their cider by the look of it. Tesco's. But you can carry on the strawberry line all the way to Congersbury and Yatton. Like I said, the video will be wonky. Yeah, they cut all the Thatcher stuff in green. I'm going to turn the video off for a little while now so I can concentrate better because I've got to go on a road soon. So there's Thatcher. It's all been done before. It's all been done before, but this is the first time in 2021 during a pandemic, which has eased up for a little while, but everyone knows that some countries are still in big lockdown because they're experiencing a third wave. Right, over and out. Right then, on the bridge. Taking some pictures of the sewage works the other side of there. More hills over that way. Banwell Hill Fort there. I can recognise what these hills are now. In the past I never knew what that was Banwell Hill Fort or that was Banwell Wood. And I've been in them both since over the last couple of years. Right, we're now going downhill towards Puxton. I'll just point out, on the right, just halfway down here, there's a turning. That's a strawberry line continues. And it goes towards Congressbury and Yatton. And I've yet to do that bit. I haven't done that bit for quite a while. Um, I'm hoping to do that at some point. I haven't done it for a while now. That'll take you to Congressbury, that's right. I just put it on hold a minute. Right, the turn in for Congressbury is back there. Something coming now. I can't get my flow going. I had somebody get in the way when I was going through a bicycle gate earlier. Right, like I said, it's very uncomfortable indeed videoing and cycling. It puts a lot of pressure on parts you don't want pressure on because you're steering with one hand and having to keep your seat stable at the same time. So it's not very comfortable and I won't be doing this for long. I mean, you bet your life what I stop and then it would have been okay to have continued, really. So we're on the circular turn now. It's not a, what I call a huge cycle. I've done a lot bigger ones than this. But it is, it is a big cycle still. I 
I used to love this bit, but it's got no, it's got busier. It has got busier this route. But it's going across moorland really. And somewhere around here there's what's called Puxton Park. It's like an animal park, a theme park type thing where people go and see the animals <coughs> eat. I would have thought, it, I don't know if it'd be open. I know some zoos are open. I've never been in there, Puxton Park. It's over that way somewhere. I'll just go up here a bit, I'll stop and then I'm gonna stop and take some photographs anyway, which I usually add to the video. And I want to really enjoy the cycle, so I'm gonna stop videoing so I can be more comfortable. We've been round pruning all the hedgerows this year. I'm just gonna stop here. The hill fort, I'll just point the hill fort out. Minute. Right, Bamwell Woods, Bamwell Hill Fort, Dolbury Warren and Sanford Quarian Woods. Right over there, so where I'm going to be heading that in that direction is Western Supermare, Whirlbury Woods, which I was walking in yesterday doing photos and videos, Whirlbury Woods. You can see the masts on the top. That's the most frequently walked place by me throughout the year, because it's local, very, very local. Not as local as it was two years ago when it was on my doorstep. I've had to go slightly across town. Now I'm now a minute from the seafront and I've I face all the gals as well and the storms and I look out if I stretch my neck out of my bedroom window and look right I can see if the tide's in or out yeah there's a lot of um, I call speed merchants they got all the gear on I still mean to get some jelly pants. I was in Holford yesterday, but of course I was tied up doing things with the bike. So I didn't actually... Was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday morning. I decided not to go out yesterday, though. I needed to sort of unwind because it was quite stressful when my chain went and I had to walk back from Bleeding to Western. Not far, really, but it is when you've got... To push your bike as well and you planned to have a nice day and it all went wrong and three things happened somehow I don't know how I mean I'm always a bit paranoid but my hat is looser than I've ever known it straps have been altered the, the handlebars have been loosened and it was fine the day before when I I'd thought about going out but changed my mind because it was too windy and then the chain went I just thought, what's going to be next? Someone trying to kill me? Anyway, that's the paranoid me. It's probably just general wear and tear, and I hadn't... I, I mean, I've tested most things. I'm usually pretty good with this steering thing after it came loose in the past. I always carry the Allen key. Right, over and out.